All right, YouTube, today we're going live with a donation deck of a four-color shadow deck. Uh, remember that if you want your deck played online, you can check out the Barreros Wrestling page and their donation link. It'll all be linked below. You can donate the money to me as well if you would like. Um, we're trying to get the Barreros the support they need in order to be on the Canadian National Wrestling Team. So... You know, if you're a fan of wrestling, a fan of uh, seeing your deck played live by a streamer, then please donate the cash, and it goes to a good, uh, good purpose. So here we go. I need to go to my Gmail, and I have to update. I have to update the spreadsheet here that I've got going on. Played this. All right. I would like to play first. It's where we want to be. And this hand is okay. We're gonna cycle Street Wraith on one to look for a uh, to look for a um, discard spell. Hit traverse. It's not what we're looking for. So this is going to go get us a. Depending on what the matchup is, it's likely we're likely going to play Tarmogoyf for next turn because we want to power through. We want to like kill our opponent. Hey, how's it going, uh, Pedro? Pedro Borges. Is this your shadow list that I'm playing tonight? Just trying to keep it all together. If our opponent's playing a creature deck, there's a chance that we just play Jace to look to kind of control the board a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm going to play Jace. Now that they have a Noble Hierarch. Update my. I always forget to do this. Fifteen from Lord Kara. Stoneblade. All right, let's get rid of this. We don't need to know why they why Reddit thinks that's a good idea or not. I can just have six through here. We're not doing anything. Renegade Rallyer, okay. So if we play Liliana, we're likely just going up with it. So we might not do anything with it, because it's just like, edicting here isn't going to do anything. Going up with it doesn't really do anything either. So we're probably actually just going to... I actually could just ditch it and then start turning on my Traverses. Yeah, Liliana's not going to do anything. So, yeah, we're going to go this. Let me check my deck list out, see if we have any sweet bullets to get. Game one. We have a Gore Clan, which might be important. 
So let's just go Thoughtsies. I appreciate all the follows from everybody. All right, we want to get rid of this Eldritch Evolution. They can have this Teferi. Okay, so let's go get a Blood Crypt. Shit, I can't traverse. Damn it. That's okay. We should have one more shadow in play, but what we're going to end up doing here is traversing for another shadow, playing a shadow and thought seizing our opponent. Ha, this is kind of cute. They get to put the Dryad Arbor into play. Because the, we're, the, the Rampager is going to win us this game. The mana base, trying to figure out the mana base of the shadow deck is always the most difficult part. Now, my opponent can go to Fairy Bounce, draw a card, crack me a four. But then they're looking at a bunch of scary creatures. They're looking at a lot of just dead next turn, I would assume. Which looks like what they might do here. So, Teferi comes into play. Okay, crack me for four, five probably, they violin the Noble Hierarch. Then we're gonna go Jace plus, Traverse for Shadow, play Shadow. Next turn we can go Traverse for a land to get like a stomping ground, play it, go to one, and then we can just make sure that the that it's legal lethal. We're gonna plus probably on this Renegade Rallier. Yeah, this is just asking to die. Like, this is just not, like, the chip shots are just, like, gonna kill you. I could discard spell. But discard, putting two shadows in the play is like the same thing as discarding an answer to a shadow. Michael101, thanks for the follow. If I miss your follow, I'm sorry. It's not that I don't like you. It's just that I uh, try to keep it quiet because it sounds really odd on my uh, going through my... Um, Oh, I forgot to plus. All right, whatever. It sounds really odd going through my uh, um, going through on the YouTube video. All right, land's good for the home team. I'm gonna feel so stupid if. This plus is gonna matter. This is less of Eldritch Evolution at instant speed, which is kind of cute. Okay, so they have one card. It's all we have to play around. So 14, they have to put three power in front of each of them. So how many total power do they have? They have one, two, three, four, nine, or eight, 10. My shadow's going to become 17 or 16 power. They have to put three in front of each. One, two, three, then four. And then I die on the crackback. So 
So Gore Clan Rampager isn't actually enough. Slash could get me killed. Unless I plus on their only thing with power. Afterwards. One, two, three. Put three in front. That doesn't matter. Yeah, so actually the Gore Clan Rampager is good enough. But I have to shock to go to one to go get it and play it. This isn't going to do anything. It's just a land. They're going to play it in response. I have to go shock minus 12, 16. I can't plus. So I'm actually just going to go traverse for ramp. Plus on this, traverse for rampager. No, I can do all that next turn. I might as well just play my Tarmogoyf then. Plus, play Goyf pass. Traverse, stopping ground, traverse. No, but then I don't have enough sources. Uh, I'll chase the birds. The birds fly. Yeah. I just had to think about how to do this. Because, like... It's like I have to, I'm just in a tough spot because Gore Clan Rampager doesn't do it. What I can do is I can attack and then play Tarmogoyf, which is probably my best line. I have to start getting in some damage. So like I could attack with both plus on the bird and then play Tarmogoyf. probably what I want to do yeah I'm gonna put pressure on my opponent I'm just gonna send it in with both of these plus on the bird and then play Tarmogoyf because if they let either of these go then whatever it is 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 lethal next turn Then I might as well just do this. Kiki, cheeky, mirror breaker. Okay. Because now I can go traverse for a forest. I still can't do it. So if I hit a land, no, I still can't do it. So like, I don't know. The mana base, the, my mana base woes from my fetching have screwed me again. But soon we're just going to overwhelm the battlefield here. Like this is, like, because I fetch like an idiot, making this game much harder. If I had three green sources, then I'd be good. But that's like somewhat the hard part about this deck. You know, I have to get back used to. I think truly playing this deck accurate is like damn near impossible. That's bad. Walk here, hit here, I'm still dead. Yeah, if I had a fetch, if I hadn't fetched like a dick, then I'd be all set. I guess I need to go f traverse for a street wraith cycle, hit battle rage to win.
And now it's just like, all right, this is my opponent. My opponent should not respect Battle Rage at all because they can't beat it. Okay. I tossed that. That one was my fault. Just like I shouldn't I, I, I just fetched poorly. So that that wasn't that wasn't the deck's fault. That was just me being dumb. Alright, we want this. Um trophies of maybe. Hmm. Huh. This is probably comes in here as well. Brutality. Lunella Veil comes out. Um, Stubborn Denial is good enough. Maybe I don't have enough cards to bring in. This is a problem with what we have going on here. Whew. All right, I think we might, we might end up just switching like this because I like all the rest of the cards. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. All the rest of the cards are good. Like, the deck's set up pretty well. You have a good balance. Like, we could board out a stub for, like, an Assassin's Trophy, which I guess I'll do that. On the draw, I'll look to bring the stub. Well, I don't know. I'll have to think about how to sideboard with this. There's a lot going on. And it's difficult. Like, it's, I just messed that up, you know? It's it's a it's a hard deck to play. Tough deck to end on. But we'll do all right. We'll clean it up. I four won the league yesterday with just Jun Shadow, no splash. And I was like, huh. Played like Grim Flare. Grim Flare was pretty great because it never died. Like, Grimflare just routinely got me cards. Like, didn't do anything. Just found, like, just was con consistently just digging me to what I need. So it was definitely an overperformer yesterday. I don't know how much in general I believe in the card, but... But yeah, I, I just fetched. I fetched poorly. We're gonna call that like four hours of streaming. More than that, I've been streaming since eight o'clock. Six hours in. Would like to play first. I'm gonna take a big nap after this. This hand's pretty solid. I'm gonna bobble and check out my top card, and we might end up. This might end up becoming lay of the land. Because we want to play Tarmogoyf next turn. Like, we do want to start the beat train. Opponent Mulligan's six, which is nice. And put a card on top. Oop. This is a land I won't fetch, though. Stub, I don't want that. So I'm just gonna get an overgrown tomb. Actually, I could just get stomping ground. I'm gonna get stomping ground and then traverse for a swamp. Just gives me another, like, it just kind of sets my colors up a little better. That's really awesome that we made it over a quarter of the way to our goal today. Like, we're up there to 100 Like, we raised about $35 today. So, like, it's really awesome. You guys are – I really appreciate all of you that are that are making this happen. Like, you know, it's – the Barreros are – you know, it makes me happy. This has also made me – just doing this has made me feel very – made me feel happy.
which is great. All right, nice. So let's shoot that discard spell off. That's a sick draw. Before we attack, because we might grow the Tarmac Wife, especially if we take a creature. All right, I'm going to take this Fulminator Mage. Because I don't want to deal with that next turn. Tarfire the Renegade Rallier. This Ashiok is sus. Super sus. From our opponent. Tarfire was a nice draw there. So this is, we're gonna start chugging up to uh, chugging up to the old Sun Titan Arena. kind of cool how it exiles the graveyard okay. grow my tarmogoyf grow my tarmogoyf grow my tarmogoyf probably should have waited We have to kill this bird or the Sun Titan comes down next turn, which is not good. Oath of Nissa. Okay, so we're not going to get Sun Titan next turn, so we can afford to Inquisition. Actually, no, we just Battle Rage and kill them. Sweet. They're at 12. Just getting absolutely ruthless. Sahili Rai. All right. Turn forward on a mulligan through a discard and a removal spell. Nice. All right. On the draw, I think we're just going to submit. I think like a lot of these cards aren't that great in this matchup. How's Twitch chat doing this fine evening? Someone asked if I thought what well, the difference between four color and Grixis are. I think Grixis is better than four color, but you know, four color is a deck that's been underrated for a long, long time in modern. So we have the old six land heat arena here. I have to go through my Google Docs and like remove stuff. I just have way too much crap on there. Alright, this hand's pretty good. Discard spell into Tarmogoyf. Like it's 2013, baby. We just want interaction. If we had a battle rage, I would think about keeping that, but like, what are we gonna do? We're gonna play a turn two Death Shadow when we can play a turn two Tarmogoyf, which, like, Death Shadow is better, but you know, we've got. I should have not used Verdant Catacombs because that's my best land. Put a card on top. I guess I'm just gonna take this to fairy. Yeah, the fairy's the best card. If he has something to pair with his Neoform that he kept on top, that's gonna suck, but I think they kept a land on top. At least land makes sense. Opponents using Neoform the the fair way, not like the version that was running rampant around Moto. Okay, so that's what they drew.
Here's the problem is like this planeswalker is actually a huge problem. So I think I have to actually hold up and try to stub it. They get value out of the Renegade Rider, which is a tidbit annoying, but it's what we're gonna have to fight through here. Those are not going to play the Rallier. You can cast the Rallier off of it. Yeah, that was stupid. I should have played the Tarmor Wife. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. That's the old six hours in. Punch a Ruski going on. All right, that's a nice draw. So let me go get Stomping Ground. I had to fetch because like this mana base. Cool, me and this mana base is awkward. That's just the cost of playing this deck though. It definitely should just jam Tarmor Wife last turn. And we will not make the mistake. I'm just going to play both my creatures now. My opponent's like, what are you complaining about your mana base for? So now we can actually discard our disdain or dismember which we don't really want to do but it would turn on stubborn denial brutal we can also just ditch this i'm not going to do anything with my jace because it'll turn off um, it'll turn off stubborn denial and like I don't know my phone's already dead as a doorknob anyways mm. looks like we're gonna start out with a W which is always the best way to do it So they're trying to figure out they can rally back to fetch land and then play the Ashiok. So that probably just leaves them dead. Because, like, the Tarmogoyks will still be two threes. I guess they can block one of them. Wall of Omens, you got it. Wall of Omens buys them with... No, it actually doesn't. Oh, I should have dismembered it in response to the trigger. Definitely should have done that because like the Neo form now, they can go get Rallier, which we can just stub the Neo form. But I think it would have been better to do that. Like, it turns out we had him covered, but I think it would have been a better play to stub in response to the draw. All right, starting off 1 0. Woo woo. 1 0, baby. Maybe we'll get 5 0 on the fifth league of the day.
How's everyone else doing? I would like to join the match. Get my computer glasses on. I would like to play first. This hand is... It's only halfway to Delirium. I'm going to keep it, but if my opponent needs to give me something to point this Fatal Push at... In order to get all the way to Delirium, my opponent is 4 0. Again, should have let on Blood Saint Meyer because it's the worst fetch land. Get rid of that tree corn. I'm, I'm excited. I'm happy to have the. Um, I'm happy to have the. Rampage are my main deck now. One. I can put an instant. I can. I basically can thought seize myself and put the push in the graveyard, but I'm going to wait one more turn to do that. Like if I draw a Street Wraith, then I'll do it and I'll traverse for a shadow. Oh man, my opponent hit a cathartic reunion. That would suck. Oh, they're Loman? Okay. They see me Loman. They hating. Nope, I'm not doing anything. Just giving the old pass. Really need Bobble, Street Wraith, Death Shadow. So if we have 12 draws, it would be really nice. A Tarmogoyf would be good as well. It should be right to play the Thug, right? At least that's what I think. Would be easy, great play. This, this looks like they have a reunion. Or are they just con flagging me? Oh, this gets in. Uh, uh. We're gonna kill the amalgam. My opponent's got good mechanics here. They're doing it at the right time. There's a reason why my opponent is four out in the league. And then the good thing is that we're not gonna need a lot to kill our opponent once our deck's turned on. Definitely gonna push this amalgam though. And I'm just gonna play a tap land. Like we can Thoughtseize, we can deal ourselves eight damage at will whenever we want. There's no need to be too squirrely about it. Is that Bobble Death Shadow, Street Wraith? We have 12 great draws. Quarter of our deck would be really nice. That's not it. Quarter of our deck. But when I kept my hand, there was a chance that that was going to happen. Now I'm likely in a lot of trouble.
They had a channel where they had. Okay. All right, let's sideboard here. Surgical extractions. Fairy, macabre, maybe? Because, like, I'm not sure that's how we want to fight on it. Jace is worse than this is, though. Yeah, I think this is how we're going to do it. Fairy Macabre is like, if they get a certain amount of cards in their graveyard, then it's not great. But a large amount, they're not like Grishel brand, where it's Fairy Macabre would be really good. Or like Legacy Dredge, where you want to hit exactly specific cards. It's, like, it's just a graveyard quantity deck. Oh, a little thing with you to put on my back. Back's a little sore. Oh. Like to play first. Oh, this hand's not good. I'll leave a macabre. I'm gonna keep it. Like, it, it's definitely like a little slow to get Death Shadow going, but like, there's a chance that the mulligan down low, this macabre, this macabre, fair macabre, I don't know, messes with it. We don't want that. I'm gonna get a. Stomping ground with this. Okay, so they likely have a lava axe. If I had to guess. Lightning axe or whatever. So playing this goif is going to get me in trouble. So I almost just don't even want to play the Goyf. Because it's just Telegraph's Lightning Axe. And it also puts a card in their graveyard, which they might not have. So I'm just going to pass. Maybe I'll get lucky and get to dismember something. I can't even, like, dismember my own Tarmogoyf. All right, so now I'm going to play it because I can dismember the Goyf. But I'm just going to discard this and get rid of that. Because like, I'm just going to – if I dismember Goyf, I'm just off to the races here. And it turns on Delirium. I should have discard spelled. Jeez, I'm crow. Am I tired? All right, discard spell. I'm just going to attack first. If they have a way to kill Tarmogoyf, they're just going to do it in response. God, that was... I wonder what they shocked for. Maybe they were just playing the mind games on me. They were trying to mess with me. It worked. Okay. I'm going to click submit. The tar fire is in there over the fatal push because we want to be able to make sure we can turn on delirium. Also, just being able to tar fire ourselves is important sometimes.
I wonder why my opponent shocked. Like, did they... Is there anything they could have there? Or were they just trying to put the fear of God into me? Alright, we have a surgical. And a way to get a Death Shadow to play on two. And we have three quarters of Delirium. So, pretty solid hand. Traverse. What is Traverse going to get me? Traverse gives me a second shadow if this one dies, so I think that's worth it. I'm going to let them do their thing here, and I'm going to surgical, like, just threats. Should have had a pause in my opponent's draw step, because now if they play a fetch land... Okay, so we're going to get rid of this. We're about to get Cathartic Reunion, baby. Chilled once. Double chill, okay. That's actually okay. So let's go get an overgrown tomb tapped. Good. Hang on. Let's get a macabre. And let's play a shadow. God, going to two is so sketchy. But letting them do all these lootings is also pretty sketchy. Fourteen. This is fourteen damage. I think I'm just gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna get rid of Just gonna get rid of an amalgam. I could have done something different there, but trouble they hit another chill also so now I'm just dead like I'm actually I'm just like actually dead because of the chill makes it so no nope. no nope, I'm dead yeah and that's that just shows like the point removal the point graveyard removal just isn't good enough against uh, dredge most of the time Maybe I should have gone to two, but like, 
I couldn't I couldn't stop it. Like I needed to get rid of the entire graveyard there. My opponent went to 5-0, which is good for them. Mulligan. All right, keep this is a pretty aggressive hand. So we actually want this because it's going to turn on Delirium. And just gives us some important, some information here. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're playing against a deck that we're going to be able to do anything with this dismember against. So we're looking for a stub or a Thoughtseize. We don't want that. I'm going to shuffle that away. I'm going to get Watery Grave. And I'm actually just going to cycle now. Okay. Give me something to point this at. Opt. Well, it's opting for a good time. So we're playing against a control deck, it looks like, which is a rough matchup for the home team. That's a nice draw, though. There's a Lurgoyf. Spell Snare. Doesn't even turn on Delirium. How rude. Oh, they're a uh, three color. They're blue red control. It's better than blue white, thank God. All right, I'm going to play this because I really just don't want to get my Death Shadow bolted. That's okay because we can just push it. And then get our Death Shadow into play, but Snap like Snapcaster, we kinda had to pick our poison there because Snapcaster and Lightning Bolt was really bad for us. It also turns on uh, if we dismember it, we're potentially could die to lightning bolt, but it does turn on um, Death Shadow and I'm gonna look at my top card here. Thought sees. I think I want that. I'm just gonna go like this. If he tries to bolt my shadow, I'm just gonna dismember this thing. Then next turn I can clear the way with Thought Scour. A little unfortunate. The Thought Seize wasn't that great, but uh, I think I'm actually just going to pay not all the life. Because now we're not dead. Now it takes two bolts to kill this, and it takes two bolts to kill my shadow. So we're in a pretty good spot. And we redrew the Thoughtseize, which is nice. Odd oh, they played that land first. Because now if they want to use it, they have to shuffle away their Scries. And they can't play Cryptic Command. Which is muy odd. I don't think they have any more Lightning Bolts. Because if they had a bunch of more Bolts, they would, they would just be reserved for my head. Give like a roast.
Had an error with the, this with OBS. OBS will be back in a second. So BRB, everybody. This. Yeah, I think I'm just going to attack. Yeah, we're back. We had a little hiccup. Then I'm just going to. Should have. Should have thought about this more. I was like, what if they have like, what if this is like remand or mana leak? Didn't really think about that one. All right, they put a card on top. This could be a bunch of lightning bolts. We can't go to the kill, but that would be a little sketch in my opinion. Not gonna go for it. Cause there's no way they keep a card on top that doesn't interact with the board and then don't go for it. Bolt me. Okay. Snapcaster Mage, bolt me. And then I push this. There's probably a way over two turns we could have killed our opponent without dying to Bolt, maybe? Like we adjusted it last time. We ain't gonna get breached. We're gonna get lightning bolted. That's how that's what's gonna happen here. Or cryptic commanded. Maybe? What? Rao. Ral, don't do it. All righty. Got him. Played your uh, band deck today, Nilla. And I made some big mistakes. Um, I don't want Dismember against like the Bolt Snap Bolt deck. I like Stubborn Denial. Delay is probably good if we're on the front foot. Don't really want a fatal push. Gonna keep Tarfire in for delirium purposes. Probably can bring an A trophy over a wraith. It did not go well. I went 03, made some mistakes. I forgot, I didn't realize that Quickling was a part of the combo one time. So I boarded it out against lands because like lands didn't have that much removal. And I was like, oh, quickling is like a value card with a Lauren to protect your combo. It's not actually part of it. It was part of it. Yep. Lost because of it. We got a mulligan this hand. I'll keep this one. One, two, three. We actually don't I don't think we want this. Actually, yeah, we're gonna put it on top. It could be really really explosive. It's a fun deck to play. It's a really cool Palace Jailer deck. But I Palace Jailered my opponent. So good one time. I just went and found it for free when I like knew they had removal. And I was like, bam. Take your Jailer. But that's probably, that might be because Jailer's just messed up in general. I'm just gonna take this thing. I don't want to deal with the thing. All the rest of the stuff is just not a problem. Maybe. 
Who's on Discord yet? Yeah, it was it was a very poor it was a very poor um plow deck, I thought. Or so I mean Stoneforge Mystic deck. Alright, I'm just gonna go get uh Stomping Ground. Because the only things that we would want to counter, we can counter with um Tarfire slash Street Wraith. Though if my opponent has like remand here, I'm gonna feel dumb. Yeah, I just dislike I dislike most decks that don't that, that play that style. You know, like most Stoneforge Mystic decks that um that don't have batter skull. You know, because like like Batter Skull is just so good sometimes. You know, it just it's just a body. And it just wasn't playing it, which I thought was just kinda odd. But again, I don't know anything about the deck. I cut the combo. Alright, I'm just gonna play this Tarmogoyf. Oh, maybe I'm not. I actually kind of don't want to play it. I can sit behind Tarfire and Stubborn Denial. And that's fine. Like, that doesn't do that much. Like, you de this deck, decks like this definitely, like, if they're on the front foot, they kind of invalidate Snapcaster Mage a little bit because the body doesn't matter. Like,. When the board's at parity, Snapcaster's insane, which, like, what is this? Which is similarly to why... I'm going to tar fire myself at the... Actually, I'm just going to tar fire this. I could tar fire myself. Then if I hit a land, I can play Tarmogoyf. Yeah, I'm going to tar fire myself. I'm just not going to care about this battle, this thing here. That kind of sucks. Now I don't really care about my Goyf. But I do have to make sure that I do have to like get this Death Shadow large enough to where the stubs turned on. That's nice, because like should have shot in because I was doing that anyways. There's a chance I could just get in more damage. The opponent's just refusing to play red spells. I know three out of their four cards. They're probably going to cycle this right now. Opponent goes jam round. All right, I mean, I'm just going to make them use their negate. We're in trouble, Chief. The thing is, is like, even if they try to like, how are they going to deal with this Goyf? Like, they have to like cryptic command me out of the game, but that's that's like, that's just kind of treading water. Now you can't kill the Goyf. Like, you can bounce. Yeah, but now the now this puts you to one, unless you have a Snapcaster Mage, and then I'm just like super dead. If you have a Snapcaster Mage, I'm drawn to one Tarfire. Or my basics. So I have three draws, basically.
Ooh, that counts the exile ones too. All right, basic guitar fire. Basic guitar fire. Basic or tar fire. Here we go. Thing. Bolt me. Bolt me. Bolt you. All right. We're on the play, though. Which is nice. So they, the fact that they have, well, I mean, just have these in. I'm gonna cut this J's too. Um, uh, let's bring this, keep this trophy in. I could cut this tar fire too, but I don't know. I like to make it sure, like, if you're playing this deck, you have to work to get delirium. I just, I really dislike shaving on it. I'm going to check out my top card here of an overgrown tomb. Like, we're, we, we're, it's going to be kind of a slog to get to delirium, or to get, like, we need mana. I don't want stub. I'm just going to go overgrown tomb into, I guess I could have kept that and got a breeding pool. And take the land. It might have been loose. Might have been a little loosey goosey. Opponent with two cards on top. Tilt. I mean, Tarn Rock's a good draw, but let's get our swamp. Play our swamp. God, I hope they just go land thing. Then I draw land, go Liliana Edict. Mm. I didn't lose it to this, which is kind of annoying. Relic, okay. It's another thing that's kind of annoying. All right, well now I'm just going to play our homegirl on an open board. I'm gonna ditch this Rampager. You spell pierce me, I swear to God. Okay. If we had spell pierce there, I would have hurled. We're still a little behind here because our opponent. I guess if I play, if they don't crack their fetch land here, I can actually play Tarmogoyf. And still get away with it. Because for them to be able to electrolyze, they have to either draw the land and then have it come into play a red land that doesn't put a land in the graveyard. They might be feel pressured to send this electrolyze at Liliana. Which kind of looks like what they're doing to me. This is like a snap bolt into electrolyze. Which is 
good. Then I have the option to trophy the relic, which could be a little spicy. Probably gonna do that. Because like my Tomeroids are just huge. Like I don't know how they're dealing with them. If these Goifs are just like chilling. But I guess I can't do that now. Two damage. He exiles. So yeah, so we just gotta let this go. He gets my Goif either way here, actually. Might not get my Goif now, I guess. He's still gonna get my Tarmogoyf. Well, we might get lucky here. But I don't think we're going to. I guess we could have made our opponent do it by snapping the traverse off. So this is going to be like an exile. He should electrolyze Goy first. And then exile. Because if he exiles and then tries to electrolyze the Goyf. Yeah. Okay, so now I should trophy the Snapcaster Mage. It's not great because he just gets a land, obviously, but keeps our Tarmor Wife around. But I guess it doesn't even keep like I have to I have to pitch this traverse just to make it so he doesn't electrolyze my Goyf. Which, like, it's kind of where we're at, unfortunately. That relic was really good. I'm not going to attack into this thing, because... Well, I guess my Tarmor Wife would become instant. If he did it before, 3-4 with 2 damage on it would still die. So I can't even attack into it because Tarmor Wife would become a 3-4. He would then deal damage to it. The damage would, so before, da then block and it's a 3-4. It doesn't get to become a 4-5 yet. So... Okay, so now Goyf is growing. Goyf is getting thicker. On the wastelands, me. Again, this electrolyze. It's gonna be fucked again. Can't attack. Uh 
find another way to burn my Tarmogoyf that would suck. She did. Uh, all right, well, the other one's a 4-5 now, so we can still trade with Snapcaster Mage X. It does look like my opponent's flooding in a little bit. I should fetch. I should play my other land to fetch too to make it so that if we have Death Shadow, it's okay. So if my opponent's last card here is Lightning Bolt, then I'm definitely in a little bit of trouble. God. I'm gonna attack. All right. Thank God my opponent's fighting out. I'm not doing shit. Would be a nice draw if I had an island. I have a watery grave, but I do not have an island. If this is a snapcaster bolt, I'm gonna hurl. <coughs> Turn snapcaster mage, okay. Flashing back Electrolyze, just to, oh, you're opting, okay. All right, opponent's getting a little card advantage there for sure. We're just moving from nothing to the same battlefield. That's bad. That's a good draw. All right, well, my opponent's going to Lightning Bolt. Then I have another Goyf. You're going to Crypt it, okay. You're going to Bounce, Snapcaster Mage. I think they should be bouncing the Snapcaster Mage a little bit. They just want to keep the fuel going. Yeah, I'm, in a, I'm, I'm like just getting super ground out right now. And like we didn't draw anything for like a little while, but my opponent also just completely like they flooded out to like oblivion. Not much. We're just playing. We're in a lot of trouble. Like we're, we're pretty much dead. They have another Snapcaster Mage. This is going to flip. I can't even attack. Because they'll just go like Snapcaster Mage, Opt. Eat the graveyard, block, block. Yeah, we're in trouble. We are in trouble here. Opt. Then they have snap opt. Yeah, this is an impressive game from my opponent. Yeah. 
Yeah, we know they have a Snapcaster, so we're dead. Rushers is dead on the board because he'll bolt us. Yep, that was that was an impressive game from my opponent. All right. Unfortunately, my wife is coming, so I will finish this. My wife is coming back with a, a bunch of stuff to move in, so I will finish this league later tonight, and I'll end up posting two different YouTube videos of it. I don't like doing this, but it just kind of is what we got to do. My wife needs my help with uh, what was I saying? My wife will need help with. Uh, um, moving in like porch furniture and stuff. So I'll just end up starting like finishing this league on Monday. When I, next time I go live, I'll have to do this league and then a league of Tron. So, um, let me see if there's anyone that I know that's online.